let me ask you something. Why is it when people talk about uh, Porter Wagner, and they do, why do they always say Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton? I mean, together, they say that. Like uh, Abbott and Costello. Or... <laughs> I think uh, mainly because of Dolly and I, you know, we've uh, recorded several duets together. We've had like, how many? About 10, I guess, 12, number one. But you, you both have been a, uh, big stars for about uh, how many years? 14 years? Well, I've been in the business 20 years, and Dolly's only been uh, with my show and with RCA five and a half years. What question or what, uh, yeah, what questions is the most asked question that you get, Dolly? Uh, the, mo the two most uh, questions, or the two questions <laughs> asked most. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> are you two married, and what are you married? Oh. What are your measurements, Porter? <laughs> well, uh, are, are you I start off sort of like this. <laughs> That's my head. The rest of you straight down. Are you married? No. No. Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. I've been married for 14 years. As far as the other one goes, I never know uh, how to answer them because I never measure. You know, I'm not that. Would I'm you like some help? Not that no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always tell them that I weigh 120, and that's all I care for them to do. Well, I understand that uh, that you just wrote a new song, and uh, nobody will tell me about it for some reason. But I understand that today in uh, rehearsal, when everybody was singing that, and everybody was having a good time today, just like they're having tonight. Uh, but when you started singing this new song, everybody just sort of stopped and went, wow, what is that? <laughs> i tell you, I could probably do the song easier and I could try to explain it to you if you'd like to. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Like the mixture of the blood that flowed through his veins, it killed his conscience and filled him with shame. He was part white, part black, and part red. That's how he got the name George Leroy Chickasha. He had no respect or feeling for anyone, including himself. He resented every man in his soul. There was no salvation. And he hated the sight of cotton fields and his thoughts of plantations. The bitterness seemed to set him afire when he'd think of Indians and reservations. He had the coldest gray eyes I've ever saw on a man. He could look clear through you and back again. They looked like pieces of stone when you'd stare. There was a mixture in the texture of his hair that hung low around his cheekbones that were high above his chin. I saw him kill a man with his own bare hands and show no mercy to him. He carried a pistol, a switchblade, and a tomahawk with him night and day. The meanest man that ever lived, George Leroy Chickasha. I saw him watch a rattlesnake bite him on the leg, never batted an eye. Then he said, get a taste of that blood and crawl out there and die. He had the quickness of lightning and could run like an antelope. He feared no man, no gun, or rope. They locked him in the security cell in Baton Rouge. He stayed one day. Iron bars couldn't hold George Leroy Chickasha. At last, he gave himself up, said he was tired of running away. So they spread the news that they'd hanged George Leroy Chickasha. He walked up the 13 steps to the trap door, stood on it with no expression in his eyes. When the minister asked him if he wanted to pray, he looked toward the skies and said, God, inside my veins flows blood of red all mixed with black and white. I have no race or creed. I pray to die. George Leroy Chickasha. Take many years. <laughs> <laughs> Sizzle that in stone. <laughs> uh, can, can I, I want to just 
segue into something Just here. jump in here. Uh, <laughs> it's my show. Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody cares. You know, uh, one of the nicest things about having your own show is that you can, you you can have... <laughs> I told him to serve milk. Uh, is that you can have anybody you want on. Why not? It's my show. And uh, one of my best friends is a, is a horse trainer and a horseshoer. And he's the best horse trainer I know. Because uh, when everybody else can't handle a horse, they say, take it over and give it to Rusty. But what I think he does best is sing and write music. And would you give a welcome to Rusty Richards? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just segue into something here, because these, these people really don't know that much about you, and I want to kind of get into your head a little bit. Your relationship to your kids is one of the best I've ever seen. With your wife? Hmm. <laughs> uh, no, your relationship to your family is, is phenomenal. And why, uh, what do you attribute that to, the way you feel about them? Well, I think that uh, probably the, the biggest contributing factor to uh, as far as from what I put into my family, you know, is being able to communicate with my kids and and uh, I talk to them and treat them just like they were little adults. You know, they they respond beautifully to that kind of thing. And I think that uh, keeping the lines of communication open with kids is uh, how do you how do you treat your wife Amy? I treat her like I a kid. <laughs> I'll beat you to it. <laughs> I knew we'd beat you to that line. Did you sing something? <laughs> First of all, tell me what you're going to sing. Okay, this song is about a miracle, and uh, it was written for Dinah Shore. And uh, it's a song that I've sung a lot of times and have had a lot of pleasure in singing this particular song. And uh, I'd love to do it for you. I peeped in to say goodnight Then I heard my child and for me some scarlet ribbons scarlet ribbons for my hair all the stores were closed and shuttered all the streets were dark and bare in our town no scarlet ribbons not one ribbon for her hair. Through the night my heart was aching. Just before the dawn was breaking, I peeked in and on her bed in gay profusion lying there. Lovely ribbons, scarlet ribbons, scarlet ribbons for her hair. If I live to be a hundred, I will never know from where came those lovely scarlet ribbons. Scarlet ribbons for her. Hand. We'll be right back. <laughs>